Hi there, Tim with Bolt Lighting. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and program the Intermatic DT620 Astro Timer. This is a great timer for those wanting a set it and forget it type of control device. Once set, this controller will automatically adjust the on and off times by approximately one and a half to two minutes every day. This is based on the sunrise and sunset tables in your region. You can refer to the enclosed instructions should you have questions about setup and operation beyond this tutorial. With the controller unboxed, we can see that the timer has a four button input control face with a rotating command dial. To begin programming this controller, we must turn it around to the back side. To begin setup on this controller, we need to pull out the paper battery strip sticking out the back of the controller. Once this is removed, it will enable battery power so we can begin to set up the device. With the digital screen flashing, the first thing we will need to do is to set up the date and time. Using the bottom rotating command dial, we need to rotate it until the correct hour is displayed, and then hit the OK button. Repeat the same process again with the minute side by spinning the command dial till the correct time is shown, and hit OK. With the current time established, it's now time to go ahead and set up our date. With the rotating command dial, spin over to the current year and hit OK. Now your month will begin to flash. Spin the command dial to the correct month, and we're going to hit OK again. This will set the month. Now your day will begin to flash. Spin your command dial all the way until you have the correct day. And once that's in place, we'll go ahead and we'll hit the OK button again. We'll hit the OK button for every time we make an input function on a time or date. With our time and date set, we'll now review the daylight savings time function of this device. You can see with the auto placed up there, we'll hit the OK button, and that brings up the first set. Here's our spring forward. We're in the third week of February. Hit the OK button. That advances to the fall, November, in the first week. Hit the OK button again. Now we need to set up the astronomic function of this device. This is what will allow the automatic feature of the on time and the off time based on the sunrise sunset tables. Spin the command dial until the current state that you live in is selected and then hit OK. Use the command dial to select whether you live in the east, west, or center part of the state and hit OK. Then select your time zone that you currently reside in. Once you hit OK, it will now reveal the current dawn time, which for this day is 7.52 a.m. Hit OK to accept that, and then it will reveal the dusk time, or the time the sun sets, at 7.06 p.m. Hit the OK button once again, and that will complete the date, time, and astronomic features of this device. You can see up here we have it in manual mode. We need to change that mode over to automatic, so you're not going out and programming the device periodically. This now completes the initial setup of this device. We'll now show you how to program it for the on and off times. To set this programmer from a dust to dawn operation, we first must begin by hitting the program button. You'll see a number one begin to flash in the window, but you don't want to set anything here. Hit the program button one more time until the skip begins to flash. Now we can set our start time. Rotate the command dial back until dusk appears in the window. And in the upper left corner, we want to see an on flashing up in the upper left corner. That means this will come on at dusk. We want to hit the program button one more time to accept that. And in the bottom, we'll see the days of the week. We want all the days of the week. Hit the program button again to accept it. Now with program 2 flashing, which is our off time, let's hit the program button again a second time. And that's going to bring up our on time. No, we don't want this. We want to be able to spin this back to the off time, which is going to be dawn. So we want to see dawn and then off flashing in the upper left hand corner. To accept that, hit the program button. Once again, we see all seven days flashing at the bottom of the display. We want to accept this, so hit the program button again. And now we see program three. We're done programming, so now we can hit OK to finish out. This will accept all the programming. Another programming option for the timer is to set it from dusk to a predetermined off time. 
Continue pressing the program button until you reach the number two setting. Now once again we want to hit the program button because we want the top to be flashing. This means it's ready to accept our times. Rotate the dial until we actually see a time value in the display. Rotate the dial until an off is displayed up above. And now we can continue to hit the program button one more time for our days of the week. Hit program again. And now we can set our hour. Well, let's set this for, say, 1 a.m. So we'll take our command dial. Let's turn it over to 1 a.m. We'll hit it one more time. Let's add 30 minutes. So we'll set this shutoff time for 1.30 in the morning. So from dusk till 1.30. We'll hit program one more time. And then we'll see program three. Now we can hit OK to accept all the programming. And that's it. Setting a desk to a predetermined off time is just that simple. This is a great little timer, and I hope you'll find it useful.